Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll show you how I painted the combat gauges for Kill Team Octarius. In the new Kill Team rules, the distances are measured with combat gauges. And on those combat gauges and on the data cards, you'll see that anytime there's a distance measured, you're going to see different coloured shapes. And those shapes represent one, two, three, or six inches. So in this video, I'll show you how I painted the plastic gauges to have a real simple metallic look and also painted the different shapes, the colors to represent those distances. Okay, let's get started. And the first thing I did was give it a nice coat of Mechanicus Standard Gray and just followed the instructions on the back, really make sure it's warm, give it a shake for that full two minutes and then just take note of those distances to spray it from, really important. I paid £12.50 for this from my local store and got 10% discount on that price. That one can was able to cover not just the combat gauges, but all the terrain pieces that came in the Kill Team Octarius box set. So expect one can to cover all of those terrain with a nice even coat. This is going to be the first video where I don't use any contrast paints and it's all going to be Citadel paints right through and here's all the ones used in this video. But I'll put links in the description below so you can find all those if you wanted to purchase them too. Okay, let's start painting and here I took some blue tack and that's just going to hold it down a little bit and just help me to paint those edges. So I just used that for the first stage just to get around the edges of the piece. Then I took some lead belcher base paint and I got this old brush, it's got some nice soft bristles and we're not dry brushing here so I've loaded the brush up with a fair amount of paint and it's almost an overbrush. I'm just going over it really roughly, little circular motions just covering it all. I don't care if I miss any bits here, that's all going to add to the effect. I want it to be really rough and ready. I'm not going for any precision paint in here, just want tabletop ready standard and just want to change it so it's kind of a, like a dirty metal look and just come away from that basic plastic. So all over the model, I'm just giving that a nice coat. And then with the edges, I'm gonna be using a wash later as you'll see. So we don't need to worry about getting it right in there. Then when that's dried, I took some storm host silver and now I'm gonna do some dry brushing. So I got that same brush, got it completely clean and completely dry. And then you can see here the previous um, paint, I didn't go right in those gaps. So that doesn't matter, that's gonna to add to the grungy look. So now I'm gonna take that brush, put a little bit of paint on the bristles, not as much as before, you can see it's only on the edge. And then I'm going to work it on some kitchen towel into those bristles, just twisting it back and forth until just a little bit of paint's coming off. And then gently, I'm going to just brush it in a downward stroke over those edges. And then from side to side, just trying to catch the most raised areas. I don't want this to go all over the flat parts, but I don't mind if a little bit goes over and put some little streaks and things. That'll add to the texture of it. But I really want to catch those sharp edges. So I'm just using the texture of the piece to get that paint off and you can see down that line there it's already catching and that's going to just give it uh, a nice highlight all the way around and on the raised areas. Next I'm going to take the Macrag Blue a Citadel base colour and a Citadel brush. This is a layered brush, the small size. I haven't used this yet but it came in a Mortal Realms magazine as one of the things that are included in that edition. And here I'm just going to put two thin coats of paint over the square and I'll be doing two coats for each coloured shape. So once the first coat's completely dry, I'll go back and do the second coat and that'll give us a nice solid color so it'll be obvious which side and which color shape matches up with which distance. Next I'm using Mephiston Red, a Citadel base color, and this is going to be for the Pentagon which represents six inches. Again, two coats, let that first one dry, then do another coat over the top. Next we've got Abaddon Black and this is going to be for the triangle which is one inch measurement and it's, it doesn't matter what black or red or blue you use for this you can use anything use Vallejo paints any kind you want and you can go like with a, a different brightness as well it doesn't matter at all this is really up to you I'm not trying to match it to exactly what the colors are in the book any red's going to represent that pentagon and I'm just using the paints that I've got Next paint is a layer paint, again by Citadel, the White Scar. Now I had a problem here, look at this goopy paint. This is terrible. I got this with the Mortal Realms magazine. It's obviously not been stored very well. I don't know what would make it do this. Um, this is the first time I've encountered it. So if you've seen this before, you know how to fix it, please let me know. I tried stirring it as much as possible, but with no effect. So I grabbed a Corax White that I had, and it's the same thing. 
really gloopy. This one didn't seem as bad, so I stirred it and stirred it for ages, and I managed to get this one a bit smooth and usable. I guess getting these from the Mortal Realms magazine, they've been stored a long time, so just be aware of that, that the paints might not be great quality, but I'm certainly gonna see if I can take that other white scar back and get a replacement. Okay, back to business, and now we're painting the circle with two coats, and this circle represents two inches. So that's all it is to it, just marking those out nice and bold, and they really stand out against that silver. So here, you could stop at this stage. If you like the kind of shiny metal, this is as simple as it gets, and you could be ready to go. At least it takes it away from that dull gray, but I want mine to be a little bit more dirtied up, a bit more grungy, so I've added some shades to it. So let's do that now. I've gone for Agrax Earthshade here, and this is more of a browny color, but you could use the Null Noir, which is more black. So it's all personal preference and whatever you prefer. And so I'm just painting on, going in these little recesses first and almost painting a line, and then just gently painting all and filling in all the kind of center part. There's lots of texture there. It's gonna take quite a bit of paint, but when you get to these flatter areas, you're not gonna need as much. So just spread it across evenly and give it a nice coat. You don't want it to pool, um, but these shades are really good because they, they, they do dry nice and smooth and you get a decent finish. So I'm just going all over that. I'll go around every single part of the metal and just give it a nice even coat. If you want to protect it when it's completely dry, you could use Technical Storm Shield, which is a matte varnish, or any matte varnish to completely protect that in because it's going to get handled a lot and it's going to get a lot of use. And there we go, that's our Kill Team Combat Gauges painted, nice, quick and easy to a tabletop ready standard, and it makes it really clear what those different shapes and colours represent. And so really happy how this turned out. You could spend a lot more time painting the skull, different colours and things like that if you want to, but for me, I was really happy, and I think this is going to work really well alongside that terrain. But now it's going to be really easy to just measure those distances, refer to the data cards and the rules, and easily see that if it's a red pentagon, you know that that's six inches and you can quickly grab the right gauge. I'll put a list of all the paints I use in the description below, and I'll also link those to Element Games and Wayland Games, where you can save up to 20% off the RRP of all these paints. And you can also pick up the main game there with some great discounts. At the moment, Kill Team Octarius at Wayland Games is going for 111.90, so you're saving 10%, but Element Games are doing it for 99.99, so you're saving a huge 20% there. So I'll put links to all this in the description. There'll be affiliate links, but they won't cost you anything extra. You'll save all that money, and you'll also support the channel as I get a small commission too. So thanks so much for that. If you'd like to check out my other videos, I've done some on how to build the Kree Kill Team, an Orc Commando kill team using the models from the Octarius box set. I've also done a review and unboxing of two of the dice packs and an unboxing of the main game. And there's loads more content. I'll be painting all the different parts of it, the different models, the terrain, and going through a complete rule series as well. So look out for all that already on the channel and coming really soon. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this gave you an idea of how you can quickly and easily get these painted up tabletop ready. I'm in quite a hurry to get this game painted and ready for battle. I can't wait to make videos, play in some games and go through all the rules. It's a really awesome set with some great pieces. But let me know what you think in the comment sections below. I'd love to hear from you. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description. And it'll be great to see you there.